This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Flatly stated, I think it's it's an uncontroversial thing to say that Republicans don't exist in the same reality as we do. And this isn't some quantum physics um, string theory multiverse type of <laughs> video. They just they don't believe the same set of facts that we do. They believe things that are not facts. I think Kellyanne Conway coined the phrase alternative facts. Don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. And it is damaging our nation. The, the, the damage uh, that, that's being done, we're not going to really fully realize until a decade or so down the road. We don't know exactly how it's going to impact future generations of voters and how they view the world. Anyway, I got a, a call about this and then another call tangentially related to the topic. Let's hit this one up. Hey, Jesse. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for um, saying what we're all thinking over the past year and um, thank you. making us feel like we're not all taking crazy pills. Um, I'm calling today. I just wanted to get your opinion on how you feel about um, most of the right wing base just totally not acknowledging still that uh, anything really took place on January 6th, just totally ignoring everything like this Davy Crockett individual from last week uh, or this past Davey weekend um, for the Justice for J6 rallies. What are your thoughts? I mean, they these people believe everything apparently they see on YouTube and Fox News, but any other media outlet uh, is just complete and total BS, apparently, you know. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, it is. It is confirmation bias run amok. It's, it's if, if you ever had a, a conversation or an argument, let's say on Facebook or wherever, and you you challenge someone to provide evidence of their claim and then it's obvious that they just rushed to Google and typed in um, uh, their query and found the very first source that validated their, their, their worldview and then came back to, with that. That is what the Republicans are. That's actually, that's more intelligent than how Republicans are acting at this point. These people who don't believe that the insurrection was an insurrection, that they don't believe it was a riot, they don't believe... Many people believe that it was Antifa, that it was a group of anti-fascists disguised as toothless Trump supporters storming the Capitol. And none of those people got arrested, only the Trump supporters who have a long, uh, illustrious history of posting online with conspiracy theories and uh, pro-Republican stances. People who are known members of militias and the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers and Three Percenters and other disparate white supremacy groups. Just so happens that their photos and videos of them there, we've got their social media posts of them being there, but they still, Republicans aren't believing it. Uh, I don't know what I think about it. I don't know how it happens. Because there's lots of things that I'd like to be true that if it doesn't line up with my, if the facts don't line up with my worldview, then I need to adjust my worldview. I need to adjust how I view things. Because the facts are the facts. And me wishing them into existence in a different fashion doesn't do anything. They're still going to remain what they are. I don't have some mystical uh, spiritual influence, some extrasensory uh, influence over reality. And Republicans apparently believe they do. It is a shocking thing. Shocking not from the perspective of, oh, that's unexpected, but shocking from the fact of what is happening. This is what's happening. And largely, this has been ushered in this way of, of, of not facing reality on reality's terms. It's been ushered in by Republicans 
talking out of both sides of their mouths by Republicans holding one position strongly publicly. And then when, when circumstances change, then they go the other way. Like this caller here brings to our attention. Uh, hi, Jesse. I am a black woman that lives in Matt Gates country, so to speak. Sorry I'm about that. I'm in one of these red states. <laughs> and I am always amazed, let's say pleasantly amazed, at how whenever we have a natural disaster of any sort, those very people mm -hmm. who are talking about seceding and civil war no one screams and hollers for my tax dollars more to help them than that particular group so let them secede if they like then i can keep my hard-earned tax dollars to myself <laughs> all right thanks i think i have a candidate for a new best friend <laughs> Thank you for the call. And uh, listen, I have I've talked about this a lot. One, I've talked about the fact that if Republicans, if Republican con uh, um, states were to en masse secede from the union, they would fail as a country. If they created their own nation, they would largely fail because uh, red states are largely supported by blue states. Trump supporting uh, counties were like, 25% of the economic output of our nation contributing to our GDP. It was something like that. I'll, I'll find the link and, and put it up. Um, but it is interesting. These same Republicans who wail against socialism, like previous calls that I've taken in the past, uh, they're the first ones to be sucking from the teat of the federal government during times of natural disaster, which is why the federal government is there. We've even seen it where Ted Cruz is wholly against uh, disaster relief for New Yorkers. And then when a storm rolls through and there's a hurricane or something in Texas, then he's all over getting those relief dollars. It's hypocrisy. And what it does, going back to the first caller, is it creates an environment where it's acceptable for Republicans to hold two disparate opposite positions at the same time. It's hypocrisy. They wail. They talk about bloodshed. They talk about civil war. They talk about seceding. Oh, we're in our battle against socialism. Marjorie Taylor Greene firing 50 cal rifles at cars and then having a, 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 a preset uh, detonation that makes it look like the 50 cal blew up the car. That's not how things work. It's all hypocrisy. It's all culture war nonsense trying to whip the base into a frenzy using boogeymen like socialism. Boogeymen like the word woke, like that caller from a few videos ago. Woke, 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 racism, racism. It's all boogeymen meant to do what it does, is fire up the base. Especially because they know the base isn't smart enough to actually do real research that's not just going to validate their worldview, but challenge it. They don't like the uncomfortability of dealing with things that go against their worldview. That's what it is. Anyway, I'd love to know. What do you think? You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Thank you guys for joining me this and every time. I appreciate your 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 input i appreciate your your engagement with my content with the, the voicemail line you guys are awesome uh you can follow me on social media i'm on twitter instagram tiktok everywhere i'm at dollamore just about everywhere the other thing i would ask is that you consider supporting my work here on youtube you can click the join button below the video to become a channel member a dollar 99 a month or you can go over to patreon.com slash i doubt it podcast which is where my podcast is, uh, is it's not hosted there, but you can also listen to my podcast. It's called I Doubt It, hosted by myself and my lovely, talented, and scholarly co-host, Brittany Page. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.